Tonight's Chatman, Julia Davis and Alex McQueen, Dara O'Brien, Casper Lee and Joe Sugg and Holly Willoughby. It's been. <laughs> All the world's leaders came together in Paris for a summit on climate change. We hear all this stuff about the planet getting warmer, but has anyone checked that Mother Earth isn't just going through the menopause? Has anyone checked that? <laughs> I'm in two minds. On one hand, I'm terrified about the consequences of unchecked global warming. On the other, I know Reggie and Bowley would absolutely smash feeling hot, hot, hot. <laughs> feeling hot, hot, hot. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? turned up in a £1 million car he had flown over from America. Talk about taking the piss, isn't it? It's about turning up to Weight Watchers with a Vionetta. <laughs> Brits spent over a billion pounds online on Cyber Monday as the run into Christmas begun. People say they like Cyber Monday because they love being able to shop in their pants. Haven't they been to Morrison's on a weekday morning? <laughs> a lot of those shoppers aren't even wearing pants. <laughs> Online retailers have now had to recruit thousands more white van drivers. So that clears up what I'm getting for Christmas. Wolf whistles. Hey, it's a priceless natural pairs pay for. Hey, girls, look at this. <laughs> Lovely. I received my first card on Tuesday. <laughs> Not for Christmas. It was one of those overweight haters ones. <laughs> I slipped it inside my gastric band when I was eating a Battenberg. Um, <laughs> and finally, did you see Cheryl dancing with Reggie and Bowley on X Factor? Yeah. I, I, do, do. Ooh, I, I, I mean, uh, <laughs> even Dermot was sitting at home going, bit awkward. It was. <laughs> <laughs> she was going for it. We were just four strips of Velcro away from the hen night. <laughs> <laughs> what a lineup we have for you tonight. <laughs> We're into December and I'm getting my holly out early. I'm hoping she might help untangle my baubles. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the wonderful Holly Willoughby will be joining me later. <laughs> the stars of the brilliant Hunderby, Julia Davis and Alex McQueen will be joining me later. <laughs> There'll be a live performance from the amazing Grace. I love that too. <laughs> and my hobby of searching for boys on the internet has finally paid off. <laughs> I'll be joined by YouTube sensations Joe and Casper. <laughs> but first, he's the best combination of science and comedy since the discovery that it's possible to write boobies on an upside down calculator. <laughs> Give it up for the amazing Dara O'Brien. <laughs> Right, let me get you a drink. What yes. do you fancy? Uh, something spicy with Latin American. Oh, where well, you come to the right bloody place, cos you know I'm Latino. Are you Latino? <laughs> I've always said that, right? <laughs> yeah. In, in what way are you, <laughs> oh, Alan Carr, <laughs> suddenly Latino? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I went into a Nando's once. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's got skulls on there. What does that mean? That'll be a Mexican Day of the Dead reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, oh. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like what Halloween oh. has Halloween. They do this huge thing called Day of the Dead, which is... Um... I saw it in Spectre at the beginning. That's exactly it, yeah. yeah. They've got a massive festival. Yeah. Uh, loads of wooden skulls everywhere, and it's really, really cool. Yeah, I'm oh. just going to pour my own drink, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is how this works. And this is a sipping tequila, I presume, rather than something you've got Oh, yeah, we'd you've never gotta... just neck it on Chatty Man, <laughs> would no, we? No, no. <laughs> oh, we would oh, neck it. Okay. Get off with the guests. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Do you have to reseal that return? A few, yeah, uh, a, a few shows back, I had um, Grace Jones on. Oh, yeah. And I had so much to keep. Yeah, them. Yes. Did she have the hula hoop with her? Uh, no, she yeah. didn't, but I ended up getting off with her. <laughs> <laughs> that's 
That is an after-show party. I, no, I on the show. Oh, God, really? Yeah. yeah. I, something just hit me and I found her really attractive. <laughs> Tons and everything? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, it was lovely. I would imagine so, she's great. I'd imagine she's like, oh, you she know. She is a lot of fun. Well, a very dominant lover, I would imagine. <laughs> yeah. well, now, you finished your stand-up tour. I finished, I finished last week. So I'm, I'm in this kind of zone where you've done it like a year of travelling everywhere and I'm just zoned out now. It's fantastic. I'm off the motorway. Oh. I'm out of the hotel rooms. I'm off the, you know, schlepping around part of it. Like, I mean, the, the, the gigs are fun. The gig is this. This is yes. playing. It's talking nonsense. It's being silly. Like, that's fun. The two hours of that is fun. Yes. But they're just on the road bit. What was regret. the worst gig? Even comedians as funny as me and you. Yes, and boy. <laughs> the, the, the toughest in a beautiful way. Uh, I've had three blind women at, to come to different shows recently, okay. right? Which is tough in... Sorry, there's nothing... It's a, it's a great... Stand-up is great for the blind, you know, because yeah, yeah. there's nothing else we're giving, we're just talking. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and, but A, they wear really good sunglasses, like really extreme yeah. sunglasses. So in the middle of an ordinary audience of people staring up, there's one old woman dressed like Bono uh, <laughs> sitting, <laughs> sitting in wraparound shades just staring around, right? Yeah. But they bring guide dogs. Right, which is cool, but the toughest crowd you would ever play is the fucking dog. Uh, which, <laughs> which, they're, they're thinking, they're going, ah, ha, ha. This is your, your image of it. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Uh, yeah, yeah. And the dog. Mm. Uh, <laughs> just with this look of I could be anywhere now. <laughs> yeah. This is just another yeah. gig for me. Yeah. Uh, and no one's giving me a biscuit or patting me in the head for a while. Yeah. Nothing you can say <laughs> is going to make the dog. They're not, not going to turn no. around for the dog. I've had the dog. You don't even dream about cats. Even, getting started. Nothing. Nothing. I... nothing. How, do you, how do you tailor the show to the dog? Bark. What do you go bark at the dog? And some of them, they're on their, their paws together and they're kind of mm. just this, <laughs> so this big, sad golden retriever, yeah. Labrador eyes, which is oh. this is the most tragic thing I've ever had to watch. Look at you. Oh, oh how much yes. do you need this? Uh, and you're going, all right, don't, don't make me question my life. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my dog. So that's weird. That's the strange thing there. That's weird. The strange thing I've had is someone set off the fire alarm share. Yeah? In the middle, and that's terrifying. That's being on stage, hearing the fire alarm going off. All these firefighters came out. This woman started pointing at her vagina to the fireman, going, "Put this out! Put this out!" <laughs> and then I was like, "No, no, no! There might be a fire!" And we all had to be evacuated. What? And then she treats me, going, "Oh, Alan doesn't like the bants. <laughs> that is not banter. <laughs> and it's a fire. <laughs> that's not what banter." Kind of crowd, are you getting? I right? <laughs> Starting fires and then I... pointing to their own vaginas. I know. Uh, sure. Oh, Alan can't handle the bants. No. <laughs> I can't when this, is, a this is not top bants. This is not top ba bants. bants. That no. is not top with a Z. Top bants. bants. Top, top bants. bants, yeah. <laughs> but, but the thing is, as well, you do get nice presents as well. Now, there's a lovely woman in Middlesbrough. She got me. She did a knitted Alan head. For me. Oh, and it's oh, that's for... really good. It's really gorgeous. And when you put it on a boil wash, you get cheekbones. Uh. <laughs> Do you get... Did she give it to you to keep and to yeah, take away? Yeah, oh, that's... Is that? Oh, my God, that's really, really sweet. Knitted is a thing, though. I got a uh, lovely woman uh, called Gillian Thomas, was her name, from Cardiff, right? And sent me this gorgeous card uh, that said that her husband was ill and so she had knitted him a woolen hat mm -hmm. just to kind of cheer him up, right? Because he was losing his hair because of this thing. And uh, so he knitted this woolen hat, but then she saw Mock the Week. And Mock the Week, I tend to get teased because of having a large head, right? Oh, I, <laughs> oh, I know, I know, but it hurts, right? It hurts. The butter boys are mean to me, right? <laughs> So she sent me this. And hang on, sorry, I, I get the leaves out. I don't think you've seen this, right? I don't think you've seen this. I'm going to do this here, right? She sent me this as a kind of a gift, oh, right? God, to have backstage, this? right? And that she knitted me specially, right? And I just think this is. Oh my God. That. <laughs> wow. Fantastic. Oh my God. That is. That's the most brilliant thing. <laughs> That is nothing else. Oh, my God. You know, because you can even see the studding of the metal of Viking know. helmet. Yeah. yeah. And it's just, it's, uh, it's, I, I put this online and people said I would buy them for Christmas if you could get them. Uh, so welcome. Can I try it off? Please do. I think you with the Viking head. Oh, my God. It'd be lovely here. And let's yeah. face it, I'm not going to get knits. No, you're not. <laughs> I meant that in a lovely way. <laughs> you meant a very clean head. Yeah, very yeah, clean yeah, of course, head. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. You see, I have to wear the glasses now. <laughs> is that right? That is. That is. <laughs> yeah. That's nice, isn't it? It's nice to have, it's nice to have a beard because you know I've got no testosterone. Okay, so you, you can't manufacture no, the beard. Nothing. Can you? Nothing. Okay. I have to strain for bum fluff. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> me during Movember. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing comes out. Nothing comes out. Oh dear. That is so lovely. It's so thank sweet you. as a thing. It's a lovely thing. Whatever it is. So thank you, Gillian Thomas uh, from Cardiff. Uh, your show, Crowd Tickler, is out on DVD. Let's have a look at a clip. I mean, lingerie as an industry is, is just that ridiculous clothing, right? The, uh, anytime you're with a woman and she walks out in lingerie and goes, Is this what you like? Is it? Is this what you like? You never feel more like an ape in a simian research laboratory. <laughs> as a kindly scientist from a superior species tries to fathom how your lower brain works. <laughs> is this what you like, is it? Show me on the flashcards if this is what you like. <laughs> banana, banana. <laughs> tire on rope, tire on rope, banana, banana, tire on rope. I mean, stockings, for fuck's sakes. And I have a clothing both useless and incredibly specific. This is where the sexy is. This is where the sexy lives. This exact height here is where the sexy lives. Don't be going lower than that. Hang on, no, you've gone below the knee. Fuck off, pop socks. No, no. Now, I don't like to talk about my charity work. Oh, it's so no. much of a relief there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but we just move on. But in the show, you tell a story about when you nearly died canoeing up the Zambezi River for comic relief. How bad was it? Because I know they hyped things up because it was going on. Yeah, this no, no. I mean, oh, weirdly, we hyped it down. Uh, we kind of made another <laughs> take. The, uh, there was a bit where we just, it was technically too difficult. And they, it, we were flung from a boat and genuine, I could draw you a diagram, and it was horrendous and it went off rage. And at one stage, they sent for a helicopter because they thought me and Philip Sadoyu, the triple jumper, were dead. Uh, <gasps> and so they didn't know where we'd gone because they found, they found our, our, our thing. We got hit a tree and then paddles went off one way and we went off another way. And they found the paddle and they went, Jesus, they're, they're gone. You know, because you get caught in a, in a butt. And then I ended up clinging to a tree for 40 minutes at one stage. Um, and then the boat came, a boat came to say, like a camera boat, I had to jump to the boat and get dragged onto the boat. And it kind of, it's actually, people do genuinely think it's kind of made up because people have to think about it, it's on the telly. So yeah. therefore, you know, ah, it's a bit of a laugh. As if, like, they'll go, cut and turn off the rapids. Uh, and <laughs> 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 like, my assistant will walk out and dab my brows yeah. and yeah. cling on to you went, yeah. I'm ready to do it for another take. I'll do another take. Yeah. I'm a hero. Uh, but actually, genuinely, it was, it was a situation that completely spiralled out of control. And, and then the weirdest thing about it was, Independent of the accent, I go into the whole accent uh, on the DVD because, you know, it, that was a sufficient enough time for it to be from this is a serious story into time passes, oh, this is material, uh, and this is something yeah. I can tell on stage. The, uh, but after then, because got, I got scraped along a river because I, I was in the rapids, rubbing along rocks, I got all these, you know, scabs on my leg. Uh, my leg suddenly just blew up, like, because whatever got into my leg, some little bug got into my leg in a river in Africa, blew up and blew up and blew up and blew up and blew up, and they double and double and double, and there's nothing as painful. Oh, my God. So I was sitting in this with his leg, like, and then there's all injections, all this kind of thing, and I opened the paper on one of the days, and there's a picture of Miranda, right, Miranda Hart, right, uh, going, Miranda, she's in hospital because of comic relief, because Miranda had twisted her ankle while waxing some rugby players, right? <laughs> Filling <laughs> on night three in a hospital. <laughs> Essentially going, fuck you, Miranda. Right, uh, <laughs> on your twisted ankle. Like, she did all, and, and Miranda will goofy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. bang. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and then there's a picture of her with her leg. I'm going, oh, look at me. And I'm there going, fuck you, right? Uh, <laughs> and, and so I met Miranda the day and I told her this. And it became a thing of, please God, let the Zambezi trip raise more money yeah. than the one that she did waxing rugby players for five days. You know what I want to do for comedy? I wanted to skip round the M25. <laughs> 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 this is what we do, you know, that's it. And yeah, but they said it'll be like people looking at me like that and then I might cause an accident. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I thought you meant, I thought, Skip, I thought you meant like to travel. I, you literally mean, Skip. you literally mean that. <laughs> around the one... <laughs> Hundred and twenty miles of skipping around the M25. Well, that's not a little chef and have a cup. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not Superman. <laughs> <laughs> can't be a bleed. <laughs> Good luck with the DVD, my up. love. Dara Brian, everyone. Thank you, you Dara. There'll be more from Holly Willoughby and YouTube sensation Casper Lee and Joe Sugg will be dropping by later. But don't go anywhere, because after the break, I'll be talking to comedy legend Julia Davis. See you in part two. <laughs>
Welcome back. Holly Willoughby and YouTube sensations Casper Lee and Joe Sugg will be here later. First, though, they're the stars of the best 19th century comedy since Bruce's opening monologue on Strictly. From the multi <laughs> award winning Hunderby, throw your bonnets in the air like you just don't care. For the incredible Julia Davis and Alex McQueen. <laughs> Let's get you some bloody drinks. Yes, please. Because last time you were on, you were knocking the bodies I back. I was. I'm still on those. He's on the egg oh, Great. Yeah. I see. Oh. It. I see. No, oh. what is it? Advocar. Advocar. It's Ad a beautiful drink. Is that it's a little bit eggy, eggy for me. Oh, why would you go for a drink the same <laughs> colour as jaundice? <laughs> I'll have an advocate. No, but you can't have it on. Well, you can have it on it. No, 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 no. no. What's that? What's no that? way. No way. What? Is no. it like, um, it's like, um, what's it no. called? Sunny Delight, isn't it? <laughs> that will anaesthetise you. It's so good to have you both here. I mean, we've got Julia Bloody Davis from Gavin and Stacey and, of course, Nighty Night. <laughs> And Alex, you were in full in the thick of it, and of course you were Neil's dad in the in between. That's right. How regular? How many times a day do you get called Bumder? I bet it's not as much as me. <laughs> it's a daily occurrence. Yeah. I'd say oh. it's a day. No, it's not a bad thing at all. It's a term of endearment, isn't it? <laughs> this is this a term of endearment? Yeah, yeah and it is. <laughs> Most people are delighted. <laughs> the two today were a little bit. Of there was a little bit of malice oh, in the no. tone. Oh, yeah. no. Bunda. It was angry. <laughs> yeah, Bunda. Just to try and test if I was mm. the Bunda. Mm. But on occasion, I do give thumbs up and, yeah. Now, next year, you've got a new sitcom on Channel 4 called Morning Has Broken, mm. starring you and David Schwimmer. Rough in friends, get you. The show's about daytime TV yeah. that's going down the swanee. What kind of daytime TV? Are you like BBC, where it's like antiques? Houses and stuff, or ITV. Probably where ITV. It, Jeremy yeah. Kyle. Yeah. If you love me, why did you lock me in the freezer? Did yeah. you ever see that one? <laughs> you locked me in the freezer. <laughs> Honestly, he locked a woman. If you love me, why would you lock me in the freezer? Do you love all that and the DNA? I, do. Test? I used to love. I used to watch that all the time. Probably before I had kids. Yeah. Now not so much. So, what shows is it based on? It's inspired by Lorraine Kelly. Oh, um, yes. it's, but it's that sort of, at this point in time anyway, it's that I'm playing a sort of quite a mumsy character, sort of friendly mother of the nation type. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, give me, give me a walk on part or something. <laughs> I could be like showbiz editor. You know, they always get some fat old gay to come on and go, <laughs> oh, well, listen to this. Beyonce is leaving JC. I could do that, couldn't I? Yeah, yeah. Is that a deal? I think so. Can we have a wig? Like a, I'm seeing a sort of curly, curly yeah, wig. Yeah, yeah. OK. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, lovely. Whoa. Yeah, mm. thanks, love. <laughs> now, we've got to talk about Hunderby. Get us back on Sky Atlantic next week. <laughs> Yeah, you won a BAFTA for the first series of Hunderby and Thank you got you. rave reviews. Thank you, I didn't give it to you, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Hunderby must win, whatever Alan says. <laughs> <laughs> Was part of you tempted to walk away and go, I'm not going to top that? Because it's hard bringing shows back and everyone's so yeah. keen to see it. And, That's you know. partly why there was a delay, because exactly that, it's like a second album fear. But then a few years went by, tried some other things and then thought, no, let's have another go. Do you want to explain what it's about to all the socialist, communists and anarchists watching tonight who haven't seen Hunderby because they refuse to feather Rupert Murdoch's nest? <laughs> <laughs> um, what is Hunderby? It's a... It's sort of like... We're trying to discuss what it was, mm. but it's kind of... Downton Abbey... Oh, there, there's people. Geordie Shaw. There you go. There's a, That's lot, it. Of, there's That's a it. lot of sex in yeah, there and nudity. Sex. It's and a little every... bit carry on here and there. It, it looks a spitting image of those Sunday night period dramas you get on BBC One. I mean, it is spot on. Do you get people like writing to points of view saying it's disgusting? I and hope what... so. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I would hope that it's people do tune in and think it's real. That would be great if they do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think there are some very old people that like it. Some very old people? Yeah. Well, there was a very elderly actress in it. 
who was mm. delighted to be in it. Yeah, she got her boobs out yeah, in the first scene. <laughs> I don't know yeah. if you saw that. No, she that. did, and I had to suckle them. Oh, you yeah. yeah. had to suckle. Rep hands. Yeah. It, was, no, it, was, it, wasn't, no, it wasn't good. What yeah. were you talking about? No, it was, um, it was a very professional exercise. Because yeah. I had to do a sex scene with a pensioner once. I was dressed as um, Margaret Thatcher in bed, and the man had to play Dennis. And he wanted you to like turn me. I said, This lady's not for turning. <laughs> and then he was like rubbing up against me. And I was like, Oh, no, no. He said, Oh, don't worry. Nothing works down there anyway. Which is like. Julia has a phrase for that in Hunderbury. Oh, yes. Do what, I? What is yes, it, Julia? The dozing mouse. <laughs> <laughs> you want another one? <laughs> Bloody! Oh, why not? Now listen, I'll pour you a drink. We're going to have a clip. This is Dorothy Nursey Edwin back to health in the absolutely brilliant Honda B. They've been there since series one. Now it is time to change your bottom napkin, sir. Oh, no. It is less than ten minutes since last I changed it. Well, it is best to freshen him off below, for he is apt to get most matted and pimply down there. <laughs> And then I always like to cream his mushroom. You having hair? Revolting. I don't, don't like you like it. having no, hair? No, I wish I wasn't bald, because I'd be a sexy man. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't. You know, putting that on, on at six a.m. in the morning is very unpleasant. Well, good luck with Hunderby. It's absolutely <laughs> brilliant. You've got to really got to see it. When's it on again? It's on next Thursday, the tenth and the seventeenth. So it's a two-part special. Oh, fantastic! Give it up for Julia Davis and Alex McQueen, everybody. <laughs> YouTube stars Kathleen and Joe Sugg and Grace will be dropping by later, but don't go anywhere because after the break, the brilliant Holly Willoughby will be here. See you in part three. <laughs> YouTube stars Casper Lee and Joe Sugg will be here in a bit. First, though, she's the dirty-minded daytime Doyan, who, if you're looking for an innuendo in the morning, is guaranteed to give you one. <laughs> go wild, go mad, go crazy for the wonderful Holly Willoughby! <laughs> Someone's just... looking good. Thanks so much. Now, listen, before we get started, I've got Go to on. ask, are things OK between us at the moment? Because it's sort of been kicking off, hasn't it? Well, what do you want? What do you want? What do you got to say for yourself, really? Well, me and Keith Lemon, I don't even know, we broke into yeah. your studio and vandalised it. Who started it? it, basically? We did. Yes. But then, <laughs> then you stole my globe yeah. and then took loads of bits and then you got me drunk on the show. <laughs> yeah. Phil got you drunk on the show, to be fair. I know, I forgot the name of my own show. Did you see that on this morning? <laughs> I'm gonna go and host, um... Um... Chatty Chatty man. Man. <laughs> so, no, yeah. we, are, we haven't got beef, have we? It's not got, like, the bloods and the crips, No, it? no, it's not, it's not as bad as that. It's over. Come on, let's kiss and make up. What are you sticking on my back? Oh, oh, kick me. <laughs> Well, let me get you a drink. What do you want, my well, love? What, what, do you want? Do you, what have you got for me? We've I'm got, happy to be... We've got pink gin. Oh, pink I've gin got a Bacardi nice. Mojito. I've got Malibu. Am I going for a pink gin? Please? Yeah, let's go for a pink gin. Sod it. Yeah, let's do it. It's Friday, after all. Oh, well, I don't think I've got any mix. I mean... Um, That's fine. I'm quite happy. Do you want a lilt? Oh, a lilt. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's totally Lovely. tropical taste. Of course. <laughs> OK, let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. And can I just say as well, Phil was going to be here tonight. Yeah, he was. But if you're watching, we're sending you a load of love yeah. and uh, yeah, yeah. yeah we're thinking of he'd him, have loved love. to have been here tonight i know that i mean i didn't well, think nice. poor old keith lemon he was not wasn't he drawing over your face um, and everything i think he it? had a little bit of encouragement from yourself oh I shut up you can't blame me <laughs> <laughs> i can cheers cheers my love cheers, cheers, cheers happy everyone. christmas yeah. <laughs> 
Now, you had some time off this morning, early this year, because you're having your little boy, Chester. Yeah. What was it like watching this morning when you were off? Did you um, sort of like with Amanda and Christine? Oh, does I hate it? <laughs> <laughs> it all got quite naughty, didn't it? Did it? Yeah. Well, I watched it. The lovely thing about having the time off was that suddenly I was able to watch it again, as I had done all the years previously, yeah. just as a viewer and loving the show. Yeah. Um, and Christine's a really good friend of mine, and Phil and Amanda have that proper chemistry and just had a brilliant time. So it was yeah. nice to know that I was leaving Phil in capable hands yeah, and that he yeah. was going to have a good time, because... I do love him to bits, and if he disappeared for a year, I'd want to kill him. And I'd be like, oh, who are you going to leave me with? But um, actually, it was nice to be able to sort of leave him with those two girls he loves. One of the reasons we love this morning is, because you said it's live, anything yeah. can go wrong. Why do you seem to have more cock-ups <laughs> on your show than any other TV oh, show? Oh, don't say that. Is it don't true your that. studio's built on an ancient burial ground? <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? That might be the answer. Is that true? It wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. I, I, do you know what? I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I just... I think half of it is, you know, the double entendres. Yeah. You just crack up at single entendres. <laughs> People just have to say cucumber and you're like... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but you know what it's like, nine. it's like, no, maybe, but you know what it's like when you, it's like being in school assembly and then somebody says something that's not even funny, not even, because you can't laugh, it's ten <laughs> times as oh, funny. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's, that, okay, it's like saying. that all the time. Yeah, yeah. And everybody's slightly on edge waiting for it. Yeah, yeah. And it does happen quite a lot. <laughs> I'm also a bit shit. <laughs> oh, no, you're no, not. No, it's true, I can barely read what's put there, so half the time I read it wrong and then all sorts comes <laughs> out. <laughs> honestly, honestly, <laughs> Phil makes me look okay. <laughs> Oh, it's true, you'd be surprised, or not. Well, you've only been back on the show a couple of months, oh. uh, but we've had a few corking bloopers already. Oh, Have a look at this. Oh, go, don't look at it, don't look at it. Go. See, it's all right when, she, when you... Once it's in, I love it. But I nice, you see? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back uh, uh, to this morning. I know you actually were thinking about it already. Oh, please do me. I know we haven't got time to do it now, but can you just stay and do me? Uh, that sounds uh, <laughs> like a offer I'm not going to get again, so... Uh, absolutely. <laughs> and we'll just cut to an interval just now. And that is bad, isn't it? <laughs> and when you look at it like that, it is bad. Yeah. But I don't... I, I, it's when I hear Mutley next to me go... <laughs> like that. <laughs> Love. And as soon yeah. as you hear that, I know I've said something, then I realise what I've said, and then it's all gone to pop. Well, look, I'm sending you back <laughs> to presenter school. Oh, God. We're going to present this morning a lovely link, and I want you to see if you can get through it without sniggering, <laughs> laughing, or making any smutty comments. Okay? Uh, okay. Right, let's do this. Oh, right, no. okay. I'm sorry. Oh. There we um, go. All right. All right. Okay. Right, yes. This could happen for yeah. real, you know, one day. <laughs> really? Do you want to come and do it with me? One I've day? got the. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> a joke. I don't hear this filth. It's a Friday night. Your Thank mind. you. Your mind. Right, you be you and I'll be Phil, OK? OK. Your lines are up there on auto OK, good. Cue the titles and remember, no laughing. OK. <laughs> Hello and welcome to This Morning. Here's what's coming up on today's show. We'll have all the I'm a Celebrity news when Ryland will be probing Lady C. We'll be continuing our search for Britain's best mind. That's right. Alison Hammond will be in Yorkshire looking for a good shaft. <laughs> we'll be talking Panto Dames with the real Gok One. Yes, we'll find out how easy Gok finds it to squeeze into ladies' bottoms. <laughs> we'll be looking at Cyber Monday deliveries. Well, where do you receive your packages, Alan? I just ask them to stick them by my back door. Oh, no. <laughs> We'll be showing you how to make the perfect Christmas dinner. That's right, Gino DeCampo will be showing us how to get the perfect stuffing. OK, it's time for an ad break now, but please don't go flicking. <laughs> Congratulations, Ollie, you passed. Yeah, Yay, we're so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's it. I'm so proud of you. Now, 
As if you didn't have enough things to go wrong on the show. Yeah. You've gone and got yourself a this morning I puppy. I know, I know. She's oh. so amazing. Gorgeous little Clover. Clover, I know. She's our puppy with a purpose. She's a guide dog in training, so we've only got her for a year before she has to go off and do her proper training, the next big stage. But basically, our job is to help her sort of be socialised and, and, and to sort of be in environments that she's not used to and just sort of get her used to slightly bonkers stuff. Well, she's here tonight. Yeah, oh, my God. Clover. Can we have a very quiet, chatty man yeah. welcome for Clover? Oh, go and get her. Go and get her. Dog hey, in Clover. the studio. Oh, my God, look. <laughs> I'll come and get her. Hey, Clover, Clover, thank you. Oh, look Here at she that. is. Come on, Clover, say hello to everybody. Here she is. Oh, she's off, Clover, not that fast, not that fast. <laughs> now, oh. this is going to be a test for her, but she's very good. Clover, sit. Sit, sit, sit. Good girl. Oh, oh, she likes you, Alan. Here you go, here you go. Oh, good girl, well, good girl, good girl. Now, listen, we've got you a nice oh. bed. Clover. Clover, good look girl. what Alan's got. <laughs> <laughs> right, Clover, OK. Clover, in your bed. In your bed. There you go, like... Okay. In your bed. She's <laughs> trying to bite me. <laughs> She's in bed. You are holding her favourite toy. Clover, sit. In your bed, down, down, good girl. Are you sure she's going to be trained? Is she looking after Oh, no, some... she's really good. Honestly, she's she? really good. Have you... I mean, dogs on telly, they're normally, like, they've done a pee by now or put on oh, the sofa. Oh, I know, humping your legs, exactly. saliva, And she's your just got her little baby. I mean, I think this is what happened to Gordon the Gopher, actually. I think <laughs> <laughs> What's she like the guest? Because I bet she's met loads of celebrities. Yeah, she has. Everyone's had a cuddle. Um, she's very good. She's actually a very good leveller. Like, if anybody comes in, you're a bit like, oh, gosh, they're a bit showbiz. You're like, have you met Clover? Oh. And then in the go, she's, she's met the Duchess of Cornwall as well. Oh! And she was very well behaved then. Oh, oh there you that. are. Look that was when that. she was really little. That was our first week of being back, actually. So that was when we'd all just first get to... We could carry her then. Now she's so big, we can't. And in, talking of the royals, you had lunch with Princess Kate the other week. Get I, I, I do, Ooh. I do, yeah. What did she say when you turned up wearing the same outfit? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> hey, Awkward. What's the protocol? I, mean, I know, what, what is the you protocol? Have, do you have to do it in your vest and pants? <laughs> Get that off. Uh, no, no, luckily uh, it wasn't mentioned. It was only after, so I was like, that. oh my gosh. And that, the sort of slight breasts you can see to the right screen of my mum's, who's also wearing the same colour. So what did you and Kate talk about? Well, we were there because I was there for the fostering network, so there was a lot of chat Oh, about right, it. yeah. We didn't, we you weren't just talking about boys and makeup. Oh, I, I wish. I oh, wish. I, I wish. I'd love to. It would be nice, wouldn't it? But no, sadly not. Sadly not. Mainly about the event that we were at. Sorry. No, That's no, really it's all dark. right. No, it's all right. Now, look, three weeks today is going to be Christmas. Are you getting excited yet? Or was it too early for all that? I am done. Now, you're not quite done with work yet, are you? What do you mean? We've got Tech Santa. Yes, that's right. Why did Phil have to get his arse out? <laughs> I mean, it's for charity. You don't see Pudsy the Bear doing I know, that. I mean, look at that. I and he's got a, Is that Phil's bum? <laughs> it wasn't. Well, can I just say, if that was Phil's bum, do you think him and I could have a working relationship with that view that I've got right now? <laughs> no, that was, a, that was a weird day, because obviously, even though that wasn't necessarily Phil's bottom, there was a stunt bum with a stunt man who I had to stand in front of and do the whole thing with. So, essentially, I'm still looking at some man's penis that I've never met before. No! No, seriously. Oh, seriously. no! But he did... He, I mean, he was a very lovely chap. He was a very lovely chap. And he'd been waiting... <laughs> <laughs> He's been waiting for a long time and he was getting quite nervous about everything. And oh, and things by the time, to, yeah. Well, oh, God, <laughs> the memories this is bringing back. And, uh, and he, had, <laughs> he had a real bead on and I was going... I was going is what, it, is what, it, a beard on? Bead on, like a sweat on, you know when you get the beads? Bead oh, on. I thought bead on was something <laughs> sexual. <laughs> oh, he's got a bead on, Dirty look. mind, you see? <laughs> So he was getting a bit of a sweaty brow, and I was yeah. a bit worried about him and a bit concerned because I thought, oh, God, is he, he just must be really nervous. Yeah. I was talking to him, yeah. trying to make it not so awkward. But then I was told that apparently the reason why was because he tied an elastic band around his <laughs> bits and bobs oh. to make it look a bit thicker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. No, apparently... it's not. Well, apparently that's why he had such a bead, bead on. on. The word of the day is bead on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, careful. Yeah, it's there. 
Oh. And as well as Tex Santa, you're also doing a Christmas special of surprise, surprise. Yeah. Now, yeah. what's in store this year? Don't give us any spoilers. No, 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 I can't spoil anything. But I obviously. need to get me Kleenex. Uh, yeah, of course. We've got uh, uh, One Direction are in. Oh, yeah. that's very exciting. Next week. Have you? Yeah, oh, so exciting. So exciting. And just lots of lovely, lovely stories um, that you'd imagine. Now, on Chatty Man, we're nothing if not predictable, so we've got a surprise for you. Have you? Yeah. I love surprises. She couldn't be here in person tonight, but she's here tonight via the magic of television. It's your Bessy mate, Princess Kate. <laughs> Hello, Kate. You there? It's Alan Carr. Please what? do not swear. You're live on Chatty Man. Oh, <laughs> Oh, hello, Holly. Surprise, surprise, it's Kate here. It was lovely seeing you last month. Even though it was a bit weird, you having exactly the same address. I've never seen my clothes look so cheap. <laughs> anyway, good luck with everything, Holly. We love you here at the palace. And it really is just... Oh, Pippa, have a day off. You're not even doing sex, Santa. <laughs> <laughs> You are not getting nice. I know, I know. <laughs> I won't be having a chat with her. No, you won't. We've got to take a break there, love. Join oh. us again in a couple of minutes and I'll be chatting some more with Holly. YouTube sensations, Casper Lee and Joe Sugg will be in the house. And there'll be music from Grace. See you in part four. <laughs> Welcome back to part four. The Incredible Grace will be performing shortly, but look who's still here. It's only Ollie Blinking Willoughby. <laughs> and that's not all. They're an even bigger internet sensation than if a cat danced the Gangnam style whilst doing the ice bucket challenge on Kim Kardashian's ass cheeks. <laughs> Give it up for the sensational Joe and Casper. <laughs> It's so good to see you. Now, I haven't seen you both since we all played Seagulls in SpongeBob SquarePants, the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah they're the other Seagulls. What was you again? You were... I was Kyle... I actually had a name. I was you Kyle... had a name? Yeah, I was the only one that had a name for my Seagull, yeah. Shit! <laughs> How weird was it sitting in there with, like, some director going, more Seagull, more Seagull. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <it was weird. laughs> <laughs> I think having a breakdown. Yeah. Apparently. Now, when I said you were coming on, yeah, my Twitter went absolutely mental, yeah. Because when Joe came on this morning, what yeah. was it like? Uh, it was crazy. I mean, we had an entirely new audience that tuned in. They were all meant to be at school. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. they were all watching this morning, suddenly. I yeah. got to hold the dog as well. I got to hold Clover. Did. She oh, was yeah. maybe there. Yeah, and that broke my Twitter. Which yeah, is I unusual. can imagine, yeah, <laughs> and your Twitter broke. Oh, my God. I was <laughs> <laughs> oh, like Dr. Christian from Embarrassing Bobby should look at. I broke in my Twitter, I picked up a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Because the people at home, you are two of the biggest vloggers on the internet. Listen to this. You've got 10 million followers. Yeah. You've been viewed a billion times. Mm. But for my elderly viewers who only go online to hand over all their life savings to a Nigerian businessman... <laughs> Do you want to explain what a vlogger is? Well, uh, basically someone who uh, makes videos for YouTube, I guess. A lot of them make videos in their bedrooms or out and about. Uh... Yeah. See, that's what they... Uh, so that's, yeah, that's... That's... Uh, for our age, if you made a video in your own bedroom, it might be something a little bit different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my, my, grandmother, my grandmother's uh, in South Africa and she's still thinking I'd do something else. What? Really? Yeah, she really does. Oh, my it's God. Horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. I love it. Because <laughs> you, you both post videos of pretty much anything, pranks, all kinds of random shit, mm. innit? <laughs> so let's have a look at clip. This is just some of the stuff Casper and Joe get up to on YouTube. What goes up and down without moving? <laughs> Come on, subscribers! No! Oh, shh. I can't hear myself think. What has four eyes but cannot see? You should know this one. What has four eyes but cannot see? A <laughs> boat. No, Mississippi. Get it? M I. Um. S S I. Please hurry up. This is not funny, these uh, argument general knowledge questions. Another SS. Dude, please stop! Okay, you gotta stretch your legs out. What? Oh! <laughs> Why are you doing that to one another? You sick! <laughs> 
stuff that we get to on a, on a Thursday night. Oh my God, how many people would watch that? Like millions and millions and millions? Because, uh, like, the shorts off, it gets a bit more views. Oh, um, yeah. So I think it got a it's few more than normal. Thumbnail. thumbnail and title. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? So yeah. a few, like, four million views, I think. That's incredible, isn't it? If you have a nipple show, yeah. and it's an extra thousand views. <laughs> really? Yeah. What about wow. two nipples? Two thousand? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my just, God. Up and up. Oh does God, that happen for TV ratings, too? Because if it does, come on, boys. I'll let you know this first. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we've got to talk about this DVD you've got out. Joe and Casper hit the road. Wagwan. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, Joe doesn't think uh, I'm capable of a proper job because I never really had a proper job before YouTube. You're only yeah. about 12. <laughs> <laughs> Is that okay? There's still time. Oh. I, used to be, I, used to be a, I used to be a roof thatcher before I was a YouTuber. A roof like, thatcher? You don't know what that is. I used to make old straw roofs back in, back in Wiltshire. Are you from the 18th job? century? Yeah, that's what I felt like. Yeah, the old, like, yeah, the old uniform and stuff, yeah. And, yeah. Um, that was my job, and then I did YouTube as a hobby on the side. He's very proud know. of that fact, and he yeah, always yeah. puts me down about that's the fact that I've never had proper it, work. But... So we, we, uh, he told me, that, let's go around uh, Europe. Yeah. Um, without any money, we left everything at home, and we just had to get jobs along the way and try and make it back. Well, let's take a look at you two in action. This is Joe and Casper in the trailer for the brilliant Joe and Casper Hit the Road. One week. Mission. Casper Lee, Joe Sugg, go outside. <laughs> We're traveling around Europe, trying to look for jobs. <laughs> one thousand miles, one camper van, one brain cell. I don't have many good ideas, but I do have a good idea. <laughs> it's normally oh. good. <laughs> I think we can bring our crew along. <laughs> the ultimate work experience. A long road trip. Cheers. We're gonna make a lot of mistakes. We're gonna learn from them. Their biggest adventure ever. Joe and Casper hit the road. Woo! Now, listen, boys, I want to become an internet sensation like you, yeah? I want to go viral, proper viral. <laughs> I want to walk into that internet cap and go cowabunga. <laughs> how, do um, how do you become... I don't know. you got to, like, try sometimes do uh, weird things. Get your um, bum out, like Kardashian did. Yeah. And you yeah. Yeah. champagne glass yeah, on your bum. I did that with Keith Lemon, honestly. Have yeah. you already done that? Yeah, it didn't Ooh. go viral. People were repulsed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now, the big viral uh, video at the moment is the condom challenge. Yes. What's that? It's Tell me. It's a see-through balloon. Yeah. I yeah, know what a condom is. It hasn't been that... <laughs> that, been that long since I've had sex. <laughs> Look, they look at me like I'm in an old people's home. <laughs> What's a condom? I've got a sheath. <laughs> well, it's a World War II. There's a, there's a video going around on the internet at the moment where they fill a condom up with water, quite a lot of water, and they drop it on a person's head. And if you get it right, the right amount of water, the right height, the right area on the head, then it can just surround your head. But it looks hilarious. Do you reckon I should do it? Yeah. I think you should. Do you reckon I should do the condom challenge? Yeah. Got, I've got some <laughs> 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 Well, you know what I'm like. Clive people with drinks, you never know. <laughs> it's going to be a cheeky wink. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I've got some condoms here. Come on, then. Should we yeah, go? Right, yeah, come yeah. round here. Yeah. Let's go viral! Yeah. I'm going to take this off with this wall and I don't want it to shrink. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you are so I'm sweet. Good good going, being yeah. nice to an old person. <laughs> now, remember, Do I have my glasses on or off? Uh, You've got to be more streamlined. Take them yeah, off. There we go. You're on a streamlined head. It might feel a bit luby. Oh, right. Oh, no, 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 no. OK. Also, <laughs> remember, nipples out always help. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Right, oh shit, go on. Three, oh. two, ah. one. Oh, no, no. Three, Three out, yeah. two, one. Yeah. Here Hello, we go. can I just say, don't do this at home. I'm a professional stuntman. <laughs> <laughs> I nominate two. Princess Anne and David Cameron. Three, two, one. Oh! oh. oh. Ready? I don't think I want to go viral. Three, two, one. 
That was right on me, Noel. <laughs> Nipples out. Three, two, one. If you don't own me!